हेलो नमस्ते वेलकम टू टुडे इज क्लास एंड बच्चों टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सी बी एस सी नाइन्थ इन वन शॉर्ट एंड द टॉपिक इज प्रोबेबिलिटी आई नो अ वेरी इजी टॉपिक for many students so we are going to discuss this topic solve some very important questions and at the end one very amazing question which can come in your examination and if that comes in your examination it is going to be a good big uh, four mark question or something like that so we are going to solve some very good questions today so let us start the class all right now before i start it let me tell you one thing very frankly probability although is an important topic and a easier topic as well because the questions are very easy so please don't take it for granted that you don't study it at all at least revise the whole topic one time all right so please do that as well and if some questions which you find difficult do mark them as well all right and solve it before going for the examination scoring topic have good marks as well all right so very easy to score in this part okay so let us start the class for today so obviously probability means calculating the chances of happening of something all right so in this probability is the study a uh, study of uncertainty a branch of maths which deals with calculating the likelihood of an event happening all right so here is the word event what does it mean so some vocabulary uh, this vocabulary is very important uh, for understanding the probability part so one is a random experiment random experiment is a experiment in which we don't know what will be the outcome for example if i toss a coin i will only get to know what is the outcome once i have uh, got the result suppose if i toss a coin i don't know whether head will come or tail will come i cannot be sure about it all right trial trial means doing that experiment so how many times we have done that experiment okay a trial is an action in which results in one or several outcomes then event this is a very important part event is related to the experiment and it is the collection of some outcomes that means event can be anything it can be one outcome it can be a group of outcomes anything so event is this is what i want to happen this is what i want you to calculate the probability for that is called your event all right so probability right now what we use in your grade 9 what you are going to understand is the experimental approach this here you are doing with the probability is your experimental approach that means in this probability you will be given the results of an experiment conducted some number of times 100 times 50 times whatever it is the experiment is already conducted for some uh, with for some trials and based on the results for what we have done suppose i have tossed a coin 100 times 60 times i have got heads 40 times i have got tail so based on this result you are going to calculate the probability if i do the trial one more time so that is why it is called experimental probability the formula is very easy number of trials in which the event happened for whatever you are calculate the probability divided by total number of trials all right so we will be understanding this with the help of some questions one more thing remember probability always lies from 0 to 1 i will not say between i'll say from because probability can be zero also and probability can be one also so it lies from zero to one zero also included one also included and some of all the probabilities equal to one not that important but you can remember in grade 10 you will get to know about it okay now before i move ahead let me tell you one very important thing right now beta that those if you are willing to join vedantus pro subscription i know you may be uh, moved from grade 9 sir grade 9th exams are over so you can join the course vedantu pro course for your grade 10th as well or if you are in grade 8 and you are moving to grade 9 and just watching out the videos vedantu pro is a very good offer right now for you all so what are the features you are going to get with vedantu pro subscription first thing you'll get unlimited live classes and all those live classes are going to filled be filled with fun and high level quizzes next thing you'll be able to uh, compete with the students all over the world because you don't know uh, because the students in your class can be from any part of the world all right so you'll get to know where do you stay what other students are doing hai right? na and that interaction also will helps you uh, will help you to evolve a lot after that you will be getting interactive replay what is an interactive replay is Uh, it is suppose suppose when i say you can watch the recording of the class you will feel like it is very boring sir 
just see the recording forward just like watching a movie and that to a boring movie because you are teaching there but in interactive replay what i'm going to do is there will be quizzes okay so whenever in the replay you are watching and when i have started when i will start the quiz that time in your screen also you'll be able to see the options and you will be able to answer those quizzes and whatever answers you will give accordingly you will get the marks as well for the quizzes and according to your marks you will see your names in the your name in the leaderboard as well so this will give you a feeling like you are in the live class and you'll get to know that what what would be your score if you would have attended that class so that is a very good feature with which you will be you will now not feel bored in the interactive replay classes as well also the notes will be provided to you in the handwriting of teacher as well and there will be a dedicated teacher to take care of your doubts tests will be conducted in a regular interval of time assignment shared after each and every session so that you don't have to go anywhere else for finding the uh, notes or some extra questions to solve no need to go anywhere else other than that micro courses these are topic specific courses so whatever topic you want to cover just take the micro course of that and done and the state the topic will be over so this gives you an opportunity to cover the syllabus in one month two months with whatever pace you want to go because of this micro courses and crash courses are for your revision so remember less is more here less price more classes so you can register for vedantus pro subscription by going to the link mentioned in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment your coupon code will be gpe pro for example let's say i'll go to this video in the youtube and uh, here see pinned comment is over here here you can clearly see yes sir the link is given over here click on this link or in the description box here you can see subscribe to vedantu pro now click on this link once you go to this link now you can select your grade 9th 10th anything suppose you are in the uh, suppose you have moved from 8th grade and you are planning for grade 9th and you know, anything suppose if i click on grade 9th now if you are right now in grade 9th and your exams are not over yet you can still take cbse 2021 course one month course you can take or if you are a uh, cbse 2022 that means you have just come to grade 9th and going for the next grade or you have passed grade 9th and going for the next grade in that you can go for grade 10th as well so let's say you have passed grade 9th your grade 9th exams are over now you can click on grade 10th over here then click on cbsc 2022 because you will give your exams next year so click on cbsc 2022 and here you can take the course for one month which will be 3500 per month or till march 2021 so this will be the whole price all right 38 something if you will go for proceed to pay and here apply the coupon code gpe pro you will get 20 percentage off and you can clearly see this much amount you are saving 7000 for the whole year for the whole year and here you get the discount see if you are taking it for one month and you think sir i will continue one month one month one month one month one month like that for 12 months in that case you are going to get uh, you have to pay extra because for one month the price is 3500 for one year the price is around 2976 per month but still if you want ki sir no i will cover everything in one month you can click on this click again proceed to pay here apply the coupon code gpe pro and again you can see you will get the discount of 20 percentage and this will be your price for one month all right so this is for those moving from 9th to 10th and remember in this moving from 9th to 10th we will be doing your bridge course as well that means whatever you have studied in your grade 10th uh, in your grade 9th we will be first completing that whatever important topics are there will first complete that so that you'll have a brush idea ki ha okay this is what we have studied and then we'll start the grade 10th syllabus as well and revision everything it includes all right so a very good course right now and when you take this course this is how you are going to see your schedule okay you can click here on the past classes to see uh, your notes of the previous class click here on get notes all right and you can see the notes for your previous class you can see my handwriting also will be available over here in my own handwriting so you will get to know ki okay what sir has taught at what time then you want to watch the recording click on replay when you click on replay see here here you are into the interactive replay part 
okay so you will be able to see the replay even in when you are watching the replay when the quiz will start you will be able to see your options over here don't look at my face i know it is looking very bad <laughs> all right so this is all features you are going to get with this vedantu pro subscription now let us move ahead with today's class uh, with questions so first question two coins are tossed simultaneously 500 times with the following frequencies of different outcomes two heads 95 times one tail 290 times no head uh, 115 times find the probability wait 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 here is a typing mistake here is this typing mistake it is not one tail it is one head all right it is one head so if i am tossing two coins simultaneously see either i can get two heads or i can get one head only or i can get no heads so two heads i have got 95 times one head 290 times and no head 115 times they are saying find the probability of occurrence of each of these events so total how many times i have conducted the experiment 500 times so probability of getting two heads will be total number of times the event uh, you have done the trial is 500 times and how many times the event has occurred 95 times all right if i divided by 5 it will be 19 upon 100 same way probability of getting one head will be so total experiment is conducted 500 times and only 290 times i have got the trial in the 290 trials in which the event has happened so this will be equal to 29 by 50 and if we'll go for probability of no heads i can say 115 upon 500 and if i do the cancellation with 5 it will be 23 upon 100 please always simplify the ratio it will be better very easy question all right next question next question we have a die is thrown 300 times outcomes are noted as given below so 300 times we have uh, thrown this die one has come 60 times 272 times 354 times 442 539 and 633 times probability of getting a 3 so probability of getting a 3 will be sir out of 300 times 3 came only 54 times 3 came only 54 times so i can say 6 nines are 54 and 6 fives are 50 uh, 6 uh, fives are 30 so 50 times probability of getting a 6 will be equal to 33 upon 300 so you can say 11 by 100 probability of getting 5 will be 39 upon 300 which you can say is 13 upon 100 and probability of getting 1 will be equal to 60 upon 300 which is equal to 1 by 5 so these are the different probabilities number of trials in which the event has happened divided by total number of trials total number of trials you have done the experiment 300 times and probability of 3 when i am calculating probability of getting 3 3 has come only 54 times so 54 by 300 and similarly ahead All right. Next part, beta. In a survey of 200 ladies, it was found that 142 likes coffee, 58 dislikes it. So probability of the lady, a lady is chosen, random likes coffee. How many ladies will like coffee? So sir, those who like, out of 200 ladies, only 142 likes coffee. And dislike वाले में, out of 200 ladies, 58 dislikes coffee. Simple, yar. What else? The questions are very easy. All right. Next question. On a particular day at a crossing in a city, various types of 240 vehicles going past during a time interval were observed. So total number of vehicles are 240. Out of these vehicles, one is chosen at random. What is the probability that chosen vehicle is a two-wheeler? So out of 240 vehicles, I saw two-wheeler are 84, three-wheelers are 68, four-wheelers are 88. So probability will be, sir, out of 240 vehicles, 84 vehicles only are two-wheelers. only 84 vehicles are two wheelers so i think we can divide both of them by 4 so it is 4 twos are 4 ones are and it is 4 sixes are 21 by 60 again we can divide it by 3 3 three sevens are and 3 20 times so 7 3 20 times so 7 by 20 will be the probability for choosing a two wheeler done simple Next question. The following table shows the blood group of 40 students of a class. One student of the class is chosen at random. What is the probability that the chosen student has blood group O? 
so out of 40 students how many has see total 40 students are there out of which how many has blood group o only 14 students so if i simplify 7 by 20 probability that the blood group is ab so out of 40 students only 6 students have ab which is 3 by 20 done done what else questions are very easy up they go last question they go this question is a very important question see what it is saying following are the ages of 360 patients total 360 patients are here getting medical treatment in the hospital one of the patient is selected at random what is the probability this five cases are given now look at the data the age is from 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 60 to 70 so this is a continuous data and in, we know in continuous data upper limit is not included so this is the age group where the age of the patient is equal to 10 or more than 10 but less than 20 this is equal more than or equal to 20 but less than 30 like that first one is saying probability that his age is 30 years or more but less than 40 years first one we want the probability to be 30 years or more but less than 30 so beta obviously i am talking about this group 30 year or more but less than 40 so i can say sir out of 360 patients only 60 are uh, the uh, 60 trials in which the event has happened we want 30 to 40 so this to this got cancelled we have got 1 by 6 similarly second part 50 years or more but less than 70 that means we want the uh, the patient to be in the age from 50 to 70 so 50 to 70 may better they go i have to include 50 to 60 and 60 to 70 both so 50 plus 30 total kitna ho gaya? 80 so we can say sir 50 in 50 to 60 30 in 60 to 70 so total i have to take from 50 to 70 out of 360 so it will be 80 upon 360 this to this got cancelled Four twos are four nines are two by nine is the probability. All right. For the third one, we want ten years or more, but less than forty. So you want ten years or more, but less than forty. That means up to this. So I can say probability from ten to forty years you want. So we have to add this, this, and this all three. So it will be ninety plus fifty plus sixty upon three sixty. So it will be equal to 90 plus 50 is 140 plus 60 is 200 upon 360. 0 to 0 got cancelled. 4 fives are 4 nines are which is 5 by 9 is the probability in the third case. So whatever events are um, in whatever cases the event is happening I am just taking considering that part. Fourth one 10 years or more. So when I say 10 years or more more than 10 years so beta you can clearly see every group satisfies that 10 years or more so everything satisfies so if i add all of them 90 plus 50 plus 60 plus 80 plus 50 plus 30 it is going to be 360 only 360 by 360 is equal to 1 probability is 1 fifth case less than 10 years we want less than 10 years now now in this data there is no group in which the age is less than 10 so no cases no events are favorable out of 360 so 0 by 360 is 0 so here probability is 0 so this is a very good question based on probability so just practice these kind of questions as well all right so this is all beta from my side in today's class as i have told you gpe pro is your code to get 20 percentage off and for all those students who have passed grade 8 and coming to grade 9th you can choose grade 9 CBSE 2022 course and all those students who have cleared grade 9th and going for grade 10th you can choose grade 10th CBSE 2022 or ICSE 2022 whatever your board is all right so this is all better all right from my side in today's class thank you so much for joining the session we'll see you soon in the next class and till then beta please don't forget to like the video share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new here thank you so much i'll see you soon bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye